why I like making music part two. Yeah, why I love making music part two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Angel to the City fans, haters, supporters, and daughters, the fiends, you know what's up, know what's up, know what's up. Yeah, that song, know what's up, that's actually going to be on the, um, I was, gonna, I was gonna put that on the Chasing My Golden Days album, but like I said, you know, I, again, here's a quick, quick thing. I can, just like any, any, any other artist, ladies and gentlemen, I can put the same song on two, three, four different albums if I want to. Because it, because the thing is, Blessed and Gifted is a song that I must remaster again. I literally must remaster it. I, I mean, because again, I had already re remastered it. Just never, just didn't put it out there. But the, but the one that I just re, I just re remastered over the, um, uh, over I guess you know, sometime in July, I, I remastered it. I gotta throw that one out too, and I gotta rewrite a whole new blessing it and record it. I have no full problem with that because I know I can do it. I've been doing this. For you know, again, I've been doing uh, again. This is something you're. This is something you're. You're. You're gonna hear in a song called "Legendary Legend." Um, I've been doing the music stuff since ele elementary, meaning I've been taking. I've take. I took interest in making. In, you know, right in making in at least writing my own, own music since I was in, in, in elementary. But the um, the keys on how to write. And did, I mean, uh, I had you know bits of ideas on. Song titles and and whatnot and song titles and whatnot. I had bits of ideas of song titles and whatnot in my mind in elementary school. I had bits of song titles and bits of lyrics. I just could never put it together until I, I think in definitely seventh or eighth grade. I is when I fully officially put it together and you know put the the lyric the lyrical content together and started actually you know. Started, 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 started getting good at, at actually writing, and that's when my 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 I said my imagination just developed and developed more, and I and I actually could do it, and I'm mean, telling you, I love the songwriting process because again, it's just a matter of fact. Being it's like I'm getting to express so many passions and ideas, you know, I'm getting to express so many di different ideas, conclusions, solutions, whatever else. I'm getting to express so many, so much of that. In a great way, again, a great rhyming and lyrical way. Again, BT Awards without me, BT Awards without me there, and without guys like Andy Menio, they don't have the lyrics or the rhymes because on almost every mainstream rap song I've listened to over the past few years has the same garbage that they're 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 uh, they're glorifying out of wedlock sex, glorifying. Drug, you know, negative, negative drugs that again, you know, again that you know make you make you lose consciousness and be you know completely you know, out of your mind and dazed and confused and let the devil come in and put and you know put God knows what ideas and thoughts and actually do certain things in your head that you're not supposed to be doing. You know what like this you wouldn't do if you were sane and sober. And again, again, um, Tom, I mean, they they rap too much these days about money, money, money. And then again, um, it's just the again they again violent. I mean negative violence. I mean it's just it's the same garbage over and over. I mean Lil Wayne's music is like, he's a he's okay. I mean, he no he's not okay. He makes from time to time. He's making some real real songs from time to time, or at least in the whack ones he may have a few good lyrics in there from time to time. But that man is I'm I haven't listened to his whole catalog, but definitely I'm gonna say from. A lot of, uh, I can name them, but I'm not going to name them. Just whack, 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 whack. I mean, Lil Wayne, for real, man. You can't, can't rap, man. You can't, cannot rap, I mean. You may have gotten this stuff through Birdman, but dude, woo. Lord knows, man. I mean, he just one of the wackest artists that I have. One of the wackest artists I've ever heard in a lot of, in a lot of conditions and ways. On the call to three, how you going with Two three crosses on the out on the on the album cover of the car. I think it was the the car to three. How you going with how you going with two or three crosses on the on the the car the car two or the car to three. How you going how you going with two three crosses on on that album cover. Two three crosses on the album cover and then make a song called Money on My Mind and then. I mean, it, it, it's not even the fact that he made the song a little more. Cause I mean, I can make a song called that and make it a lot better than he did. But the way he did it, it was so so bad. 
It was just so bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, a lot of y'all like, like being trapped into whatever matrix you're in now. And that's why a lot of y'all don't give a crap about trying to get out because y'all like the matrix you're in now. But again, if you don't have guys like, you know, if you don't have ly lyrical guys like me, Andy Menio, and, 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 and whatnot in it, if you don't, I mean, if you don't have guys, if you don't got, if you don't, you don't have guys like us in, in the, in, you know, on the BET Awards for events like that, and you pretty much don't have the lyrics or the rhymes, because the artists that you're promoting are the same whack artists who keep doing, who, who promote the same dumb, 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 new world order, satanic agenda, and systems and philosophies that just, in my best opinion, make me want to vomit almost every time, because this is just like, you people are sick, you know, ASAP Rocky, you know, I mean, it's amazing how these people promote themselves, you know, when they're not rapping and when they're not. I mean, how they how they promote themselves in a door in, in with a do, in endorsements. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing how they how they promote themselves in in endorsements. Yes, I'm also writing right now as well as making this talk entertainment. It's amazing how they promote themselves with their endorsements, but then how their lyrics are actually, which the lyrics are again complete garbage. And I mean, it's just garbage. Again, ladies and gentlemen, why I like uh, rap? Oh, uh, not why I like rap. Why I like making music is again, it's just a matter of really, you know. Again, telling my life story, making a mark, building a legacy. When I first started out, I get I wasn't that good. And a lot of y'all be like, man, you still suck now. And, you know, a lot of y'all can say that all you want to, but I'm telling that's why I release non beat versions for y'all. So y'all can have a spine to listen to them. But, you know, it's, it's, it's evidently clear. Even if I, even if I have the, the beats low down to where you, to, to where you can hear a beat, but you're still hearing, I mean, I mean, you guys, I don't know whether it's like, you know, you guys are saying that, you know, yeah, we, I mean, I mean, I don't even think it's the lyrics that y'all care about. I think it's really just the, you know, y'all, like Hobson said, no words, y'all just want a hard, a uh, hard beat to, to trick y'all into thinking y'all like the mess, even when you don't. But with me, you, I'm telling I keep telling y'all all the time, study the lyrics, study the lyrics. And a lot of y'all, y'all don't study the lyrics, and that's one of the reasons why y'all like like a lot of the wrong artists because y'all don't study the lyrics. I mean, if you like if you like the girl, if you like a lot of the guys that promote it in the mainstream is real, real, real rap, like again, like like future, like guys like Future, ASAP Rocky, um, uh, a lot of others to name. I just don't want to name them. It's just complete. Oh yeah, well, Migos, Migos, who says who who said in the interview that you know everything they rap is from you know from you know, from the top of the head. You know they don't have no pen, no pen, no pen, no you know paper in the studio to write their stuff. It's just all top top of the head. When I heard that, I'm like, well, that's when why y'all can't rap because they can't rap. I'm telling you, you know, y'all can keep on brainwashing y'all so over and over again thinking they can rap. But again, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't think it matters whether I posted my, my, my lyrics up on whatever website. Uh, y'all still ain't going to care. Y'all still going to keep saying the same thing y'all saying over and over again. And you did the city can't rap. And you did the city sucks. I mean, you can, you know, I mean, that's what you want to do. Keep on, keep on degrading yourself. Keep on degrading me. Keep on thinking that, you know, I'm on, that I'm what's wrong with the, with the industry today. If anything, I'm I'm a, if anything I'm a savior of it. But at the same time, I'm not trying to be no savior of it at all. I'm trying to destroy the current industry. But who am I kidding? The current industry is already being pretty. I mean, it's it's it's, uh, it's already fully taken over. You know, you can't really save it. That then the current industry they take they taking over. You got to just let it die and start from scratch. Because if there's just too many whack people in the game, too many whack ones in the game. To where you you really just you really just have to start from scratch. You, you there's like almost I mean there's no trying to save what's well you there's no say saving it. You just have to start from scratch. Uh, and again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so blessed and gifted that uh, with <clears throat> with my stage name of NJ Ted City, um, my rapper profile that um, that um, it's not an alter ego. I'm blessed and gifted that. NJ to the city is not some alter ego. It's me. It's 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 me who I am as a person. 
everything I rap about is mine is a reflection of me as a person. It just it is no alter ego. It is who I it is who I am as a person. It's just it, again it's a, it's, it's a stage name. But again, it, it it reflects on who I am as a person. It just it is not a alter ego at all. And I'm thankful to God that it's not alter ego. It, it it's still it's still me. It's still it's still me who I am as a person. Everything I everything I write, write about again that's me as a person. My life story, my make, my again, my legacy, my mark. And a lot of y'all can relate to my lyrics. Y'all just don't want to take the time to try to actually study them. Y'all can, you know, y'all can continue sleeping on my career all you want to. We gonna see at the end of the day. We gonna see at the end of the day. You know who prospers from it, who doesn't. Come to saying, I know what my stuff is. I, I I know for a fact that with my stuff, you know, um, I know for a fact, man, like I said, with my stuff. You know, I know what's up, you know. I know I'm a good artist. You know, I'm I feel like I am definitely one of the best artists out there. Not the best, but one of the best because lyrically I'm a lyrically lyric, lyrically I'm a, I'm a genius. Lyrically I'm a genius. I didn't just I haven't just called myself rap genius for nothing, you know, right rap genius for nothing. I literally have proved it proved it to my have it to my right and whatnot. You know. Too too good with these words, man. Uh, once again, thank y'all for listening. Thank you, y'all, uh, for listening, subscribing, hating, listening, talking about it. God first, got everything. I mean, God first, got of everything, got of money. Jesus above all, your boy, into the city out. God bless.